the auto negotiation of trunking on an interface. And this is covered in the, the ICND1 uh, syllabus. Obviously, if you're taking the one exam route, then it's in that syllabus there. I'm just going to do this on the uh, packet tracer switch because my live switches are a different model and um, you get different errors which can confuse the subject a bit. So, show interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 space switch port. Show us the layer 2 settings. Negotiation of trunking is on. Now we want to disable this, so we're, we're going to cover the command that will do this for us. Interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1. So the command is uh, switch port no negotiate, and then it'll throw up an error saying a conflict between negotiating dynamic. So you can't have the port um, dynamically negotiating a trunk. So it needs to be switch port no trunk for hard setting to trunk, then switch port no negotiate. Uh, that command will be accepted this time round. And then we'll issue the show command again. On all things been equal, the negotiation of trunking should be turned off. And there we can see negotiation of trunking is off. We're going to look at the dynamic settings for switch ports. It's covered in the theory and I just think it's important that you can drill down and change from dynamic desirable to dynamic auto and uh, vice versa. Now different models of switches have different default settings as uh, I found when I was working on some 3550 or 3560 switches so just bear that in mind uh, we'll go through the commands and see as we go along anyway so show interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port we got hard set this to trunk but um, you, you'll be coming across the same one as you do the labs because you just go from one to another and you don't always um, reload and wipe the configuration that was originally on, originally on there so, uh, interface pass Ethernet 0 slash 1, switch port, uh, I hit question marks, so you can see all your options, switch port mode, what are we looking for, well we're looking for some sort of dynamic mode, we're not looking to do an lab on access or trunk, trunk is obviously hard setting it to trunk and access hard setting it to access, ok dynamic space question mark, we've got two choices, dynamic auto or dynamic desirable. As you know, auto, it will not attempt to create a trunk and uh, desirable it will. Now I've got a, uh, a conflict because uh, it says here, conflict between no negotiate and dynamic. So this is from an earlier lab I did. So I turned off the uh, no negotiate with no switch port, no negotiate. If that makes sense, I'll turn the no negotiate back on <laughs> with a no, no negotiate. Alright, so uh, switch port mode dynamic auto, and you can see the interface has come up, but it will not be attempting to uh, create a trunk. So it's dynamic auto, it's actually set to uh, access at the moment. So this is what we're looking for, dynamic auto. Uh, that should be the default setting, I think, on the 2960. Go over to the other side now, show interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 1, space, switch port. Alright, so this is set to dynamic auto, and obviously we're not going to have a trunk set up now because neither side is set to trunk in, and both sides are set to dynamic auto, which is not what we want for this lab. Show interface trunk. No interfaces are trunk in. So interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Let's change our setting now. Switch port mode, dynamic, desirable. You can use a question mark as you go along. So you can see the trunk has uh, come up. Uh, I should issue a show trunk interface, a show interface, so I see it at 0 slash 1. Switch port, and we can see it's dynamic, desirable, and it's set to trunk. Now it's come up as a trunk. I just want to do a show interface trunk. in tunnel access to Catalyst iOS switches. This is a topology here, quite simple, the router 
connected to the switch and we're going to create a VLAN. Not that we have to, but just good practice. On the router, I'll just add the IP address. Just need to double check what that is on the, the requirements. On the switch, we'll just add the VLAN, the IP address for the VLAN interface. Now we get into the configuration. Putting a password actually on the VTY lines rather than the alternative method of local username and password. So uh, password is going uh, uppercase, which is case sensitive. Login, which you have to add. And then we'll go into router 1 and test the telnet. Just to check the connection's working first, which it is. Turn it to the switch, add the password and we should get into user mode. There's, there's no enable password so we can't get to enable mode. And you can see this has become a trunk. Thanks for watching.